mediocre have a grip on physics. That's a lame pun, and I may be scientifically inaccurate there too, but the sentiment is definitely true. Sprinkle was an amazingly cute and complex title that made use of some of the best fluid physics we've seen on the App Store, and the team is back with Granny Smith. Instead of putting out fires, you're chasing down thieves on roller skates and crashing through the countryside and cityscape in an attempt to recover your delicious fruit. Like any great iOS title, the game keeps its controls light and simple. One button allows you to jump and flip through the air, while the other allows you to reach out to grab objects or slide on ropes. With these tools alone, you'll need to outpace the thief to collect the apples scattered throughout the stage, going on a roller coaster ride that will have you delving into mines and bashing your way through malls in the process. Coins litter each stage and can be used to purchase various power-ups, such as helmets to prevent coin loss, banana skins to slip up the wily thief, and baseballs to slug him in the back of the head, and also to destroy walls in your path. This last use is what will separate the Sunday drivers from the superstars. Time your throws just right and you'll be able to keep your momentum, potentially picking up even more coins or that last elusive apple on the stage. There are other uses for coins too, namely to skip levels or purchase alternate characters early on. You'll earn plenty in the process of clearing each stage though, so don't feel pressured to rush your way through the game's 36 currently available stages. In fact, you'll want to take your time, as it won't take long to finish, though getting perfect runs will give you some longevity and is well worth it for the challenge. Granny Smith doesn't revolutionise the use of physics like Sprinkle did, but it adds a fun twist to the speedy racing that's all the more enjoyable to watch in slow motion replay. A great distraction to eat up a spare afternoon. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.